Hey y'all, welcome back to the BTSI show. I'm your host, Christopher Jack. Super Bowl is tomorrow. Let's go ahead and talk about it. But before we do that, you guys know what to do. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on my social media platforms. And we're going to do something different. We are almost to 500 subscribers on YouTube. Our guy like well over 500 on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter is a little bit slow. So here's what we're going to do. Let's put our focus on YouTube. Of course, follow me on all my social media platforms. Y'all already know the BTSI show on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. What we're going to do is this. Let's get to 500 subscribers. Once we do that, one lucky person will get $50. You have to be 18 and older to receive there's a $50 cash reward once we get to 500. Then when we get to 1,000 and some other tweaks that we're gonna do, once we get to 1,000, then I'll send out $100 to, to a lucky person. So we're gonna change that up just a little bit. Let's get to 500 subscribers. Then once we do that, one lucky person will get $50 and we're gonna keep it going from there. Also, FNX, if you are looking to lose weight, gain weight, and you need some workout gear, f n x of course you guys know the links are located on my twitter my instagram and my facebook since you guys are watching this on youtube it's located in the description fill up your, sh your shopping carts once i get to check out use the promo code btsi for 15 percent off i repeat btsi to get 15 percent off when you guys check out all right so let's start the show and actually before we even get to um, Super Bowls, I want to do just some quick hits, real quick. Things to talk, things I just want to get out the way. Real quick, Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, congratulations to Stacey Abrams. She 100% deserves it. She could have picked up her ball and go home when she lost the governor race, but she decided to go get our people educated get them register and now georgia is now blue state so to stacy abram i want to say thank you and black lives matter congratulations on being nominated now do my opinion on black Lives matter change no it don't i stand by with what i said in regards to black lives matter now for those if you guys don't know what i said Go look at my last three episodes, the last three part series of Black Lives Matter versus Black Power, and it will go into details. Next up, Bitcoin and Dogecoin, or Dogecoin, however they want to pronounce it. Bitcoin is worth thirty, probably thirty six, thirty seven, or thirty eight thousand dollars at this point. So it's going to be somewhat too late to get in the game. Well, actually, according to a certain expert. Bitcoin may be worth almost a hundred thousand dollars during this year or at the end of this year. So I would say go ahead, just get it, grab a dollar if you have to, and go make some type of investment. That way your money is working for you. Dogecoin. Dogecoin, the last time I checked, is worth like four cents per coin. It's going up. Of course, it's going up and down, up and down, but it's slowly going up. Ladies and gentlemen, I, to be honest, when it came to Bitcoin, I knew about Bitcoin. I knew about it early. I regret that I didn't invest in it because let's assume how much Dogecoin. Let's say I have a thousand Dogecoins and Dogecoin was worth the same amount that Bitcoin is worth. Ladies and gentlemen, had I invested in Bitcoin back then, I would have $35 million right now. So needless to say, I'm kicking myself behind that, but I'm not going to make that same mistake. Go buy Dogecoin with whatever wallet, electronic wallet you think it fits you or is necessary. Do that. I already got mine. I'm already in the game. I'm way ahead. My money's already working for me. I just got to sit back and wait for the big boom. And once that big boom happens, trust me, I ain't never going to have to work another day in my life. And before we get into one more thing, before we get into the Super Bowl, this uh, silhouette challenge that's going on, I'm talking to two two types of participants. I'm talking to the ones that need to hear the right answer. And I need to talk to the ones that needs a lookout. As far as though who needs the right answer, do not do the silhouette challenge. 
You don't need to be doing that to your body. You don't need to be degrading yourself like that. Have some type of self-respect. Now, the lookouts are the ones who don't care and they want to do it anyway. Fine. That's what that's your right. I will say this. Be careful when you do that challenge. Keep some type of clothes on. Because dudes are pervs out there. They are now they now happen to where you can take that filter off. Ladies, don't do that challenge naked. Put some clothes on. Uh, protect yourself, protect your uh, dignity, whatever you got to do. Just be careful when you do that challenge. Now that we got that out the way, let's get to the Super Bowl. Uh, Tampa Bay versus Kansas City. And I'm looking at these numbers, people. I'm telling you right now, let me start with Tampa Bay. As far as ratings go, uh, Tampa Bay's offense is 88. Defense is 86. Special team, 76. And the the overall team is 85. Yeah. I don't know about that one because Kansas City, their offense is the 94. Defense, 86 as well. That might be key. Special team, 94. Overall offense, 91. Judging by these numbers, Kansas should beat Tampa Bay pretty easily. But let's take this into consideration. The last time we saw Tom Brady in the Super Bowl, he didn't win MVP. You know why? Because the only people that showed up to that particular Super Bowl, Super Bowl 53, I believe, was Julian Edelman, who won the MVP, and both Patriots and Rams defense. Everybody else took the night off. And last year, you want to go back to last year, let's be, let's give it a buck. Patrick Mahomes did not have a great uh, Super Bowl debut. The first, I'm looking at the first three and a half quarters, I'm looking like, this dude about to make me look like a liar until he eventually got it together and won the damn thing. So where does that put me at? The defense, um, I do expect the defense to show up, but they're fairly going to get shredded into uh, pieces. But if I had to really choose, if I really had to choose, because statistically, Kansas City should win. I will say... It's going to be a 61-point spread, just for the record. I'm going to say Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay is going to win 31-30. to 30. If I just really have to uh, filter out everything, just really, really just think about it, I really believe that Tampa Bay is going to win. I don't expect Tom Brady to throw three picks like he did against Aaron Rodgers. He does that with this team. Uh, Tampa Bay is going to get blown out of their own stadium. And that's another factor. It's a home game for Tampa Bay. I'm going to say Tampa Bay is going to win by one point. 31 to 30. That's my final. That's my final score. So here's hoping. Oh, next week topic. I want to get you guys ready because I got hacked. And the person that hacked me, well, of course, I don't know who the individual is, but what they hacked me for is going to go hand in hand with the valentine's day episode so enjoy you guys weekend uh stay safe and we will talk next week peace out